So this is the second motorcycle, well, kind of third, well, sort of fourth motorcycle I ever owned. It's a 1981 Suzuki GS 450L, that's my understanding of it. I sold it to an old friend, he rode it for a number of years, and we're doing a work trade, and I'm getting it back. It needs a little bit of work, I think I can probably get it fired up. Well, I'm going to work this evening on bringing this sweet old 1981 GS 450L Suzuki uh, back from back from the brink, and uh, I should uh, just get this kind of cleaned up and ready to roll. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but we'll take you along for a ride, huh? I got a little smudge fire going there. Uh, some old oak shavings keep the bugs at bay. Spring in Maine. Always a safe bet. Get rid of the old gas. Any old engine you're working on. Just pour that into the local stream. That's not what I do with old gas. Pull the little drain plug out of the base of the carburetor here on this one. Pretty good. Drained all the fuel out. Kerosene and rags, here it comes. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do the, uh, get the gas tank off, get that drained of the old gas, take a look at the carburetors, clean up all the grease, oxidiza oxidization that's occurred, clean up the chain, tire pressure, all that. Got a new battery for it, um, got a new oil filter here. Yep. Change the oil, got a couple spark plugs. Well, this is going to continue for some time. I'll, uh, I'll spare you the details. I'll get back to you. Filling up the tires. I do believe an oil change is in order. Twenty-one millimeters it is. Nice and thick. Hi, it is. Once again, doesn't look too bad. You know, put it in gear and try to uh, try to turn the engine over a little bit. That way, any oil trapped in the uh, cylinder heads or pistons will be forced out. Little trick I learned. Over at Wasted Spark Motorcycles, Richard Barsotti, where I spent my time learning how to poke around on these sweet old machines, is a little bit of grease to hold the gasket in. Tight, but not too tight. I believe tight's tight and too tight is broke, as the great philosopher Carl Gifford once said. Everything looks good. I'm kind of surprised no mice had made a home in here in the airbox. I was able to clean that out really easily. Use 10W40. What do we got here? 10W30. I think it'll live. Do not modify this exhaust system. It is designed to give maximum performance without excessive noise. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you, Suzuki. Well, that just happened to be the perfect amount of oil. I checked so many times because I wasn't confident that that was such a fortuitous mistake. And I call it a mistake because it was. It was a fortuitous mistake. Sometimes mistakes are good. I bought new spark plugs. I'm not positive I want to replace them. But I should check. Anyway. It being sort of... Part and parcel, whatever the thank that means for a tune-up. 
Okay, as you can see, it's not horrible, but got new ones. Suppose that ought to do for now. Connect the battery here. Don't know why I'm filming this, it's just going to be awkward. Well, as far as I can tell, I'm ready to give this thing a little fire. Based on the registration and my friend's law-abiding nature, I would say this hasn't been run since 2007, and that makes that 10 years. Changed the oil, cleaned up the chain, put air in the tires, new spark plugs, cleaned the gas tank, cleaned the fuel line, took off the petcock, everything looked good there. Cleaned the air filter, just installed the new battery, oil, oil filter. Uh, let's give it a go. Let's see what we got. We in neutral? Yep. Lights. That's a promising sign. Horn. Weak as can be. Choke. Fully on. Clutch in. Run. Boy, that's satisfying. If you're ever down on the dumps and you feel like feeling a boost, get an old engine running. Use these. I call that a success. Thank <laughs> you. 